The concluding months of the year typically mark the period of harvest in the majority of fields and farms across the United States. In this video, we will journey through various agricultural regions in several states to observe the ongoing harvest operations. Our first stop will be the hop farms located in Washington. Before we move forward, make sure you like the video. Click on the subscribe button. Or hit the notification bell. Initially, a machine is employed to sever all the vines. This machine can efficiently cover about 4 to 4.5 acres of hops land within an hour. Subsequently, the upper part of the vines is also removed and all the hops are transported to the warehouse area for drying by a specific vehicle. On smaller hop farms, the harvesting process is manually carried out by migrant workers instead of machines. As per a USDA report from 2022, the area in Washington planted with hops spans 42,000 acres and the annual harvest value of this agricultural product is approximately $475 million. In the ranking of the value of agricultural commodities in Washington, hops secure the sixth position. Post-harvest, thousands of pounds of hops are dried, bagged, and then shipped to breweries across the country. In 2022, Beer consumption in the United States reached between 2.87 million to 2.25 gallon barrels, and around 47% of domestic beer production was made from hops. Moving on to a shallow body of water in northern Wisconsin, the period from mid-August to late September is typically when farmers harvest wild rice. These farmers navigate through the rice beds gently using canoes. They employ specialized sticks or poles to gently tap ripe rice seeds to fall from a tree. Wild rice, although not related to traditional rice, is often used in similar culinary ways. Bidding farewell to the wild rice fields, we now journey to Florida, the leading producer of sweet corn in the United States. We will witness the harvesting of millions of tons of sweet corn. Presently, the United States is home to approximately 503,000 sweet corn farms, with Florida housing 23% of them. The peak period for sweet corn harvest in the United States has typically been from October to April in recent years. However, about 65% of the country's sweet corn production is usually harvested between October and December. At 3 a.m., we find ourselves at a plum farm in Zilla, a city in central Washington state. From early August to September, billions of plums in Washington are ripe for harvesting. On peak days, migrant workers start their day as early as 2 a.m. to harvest billions of plums. After harvesting, the plums are usually transported to factories for drying. Additionally, about 35% of plum production in Washington is sold fresh to supermarkets and farmers markets. According to the 2022 USDA report, the United States has around 12,800 acres of land dedicated to growing plums. The plum harvest that year was around 80,600 tons, yielding a value of $91.7 million. We then move to the San Joaquin Valley in California, where migrant workers are seen picking tomatoes in a field. At many tomato farms in California, tomatoes are ideally harvested while still green and then left to ripen off the vine. This method prevents splitting or bruising and allows for a measure of control over the ripening process. Of course, the harvest time for tomatoes depends on their intended use. Many large-scale farms still harvest tomatoes when about 70% of the fruit is ripe. Besides apples, Washington is renowned for its pear farms. It is one of the states with the largest pear production in the U.S., along with California and Oregon. Like many other fruits, delayed pear harvesting can lead to significant losses for pear farm owners. Damaged pears are often used in various ways, such as for making juices, jams, or compost. However, the exact use can vary based on the farm's practices and resources. As we conclude the video, we'll head to North Carolina to observe the sweet potato harvest. Approximately 2,700 migrant workers gather in North Carolina to harvest sweet potatoes, with the busiest harvest time being from late August to early November. On average, these harvest workers earn about $13 per hour. However, on rainy days, their wage can increase to up to $20 per hour. This is because harvesting needs to be expedited on rainy days to prevent spoilage of sweet potatoes, prompting farm owners to offer higher daily wages to boost worker productivity. 
The agriculture industry has always been a vital part of the U.S. economy, providing not just food, but also employment for millions of Americans. As per the 2022 Feeding the Economy report, the agriculture sectors contribute more than 43 million jobs, $2 trillion in wages, and $718 billion in taxes. This substantial contribution underscores the immense scale of U.S. agriculture. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the agricultural heartlands of America. Please share your thoughts in the comments section of this video. In addition to its domestic contributions, the agriculture sector in the United States also accounts for $182 billion in export turnover. The influence of American agriculture extends beyond mere statistics, with numerous products and industries relying on it for significant economic contributions. These agriculture-related industries encompass food production, food service, textile products, forestry, and fishing. Approximately 41% of the United States is utilized for livestock farming, with half of America's agricultural revenue stemming from meat production. The United States holds the position of the world's largest producer of beef and poultry. Large farms, housing 100 or more cows, account for 56% of all beef cattle production. Massive livestock farms, with a capacity for 32,000 animals, constitute 42% of the total U.S. livestock herd. In the late 1920s, chickens were the first animals to be raised in centralized breeding facilities. By the 1970s, the focus shifted towards raising more pigs and cows. Presently, cattle, corn, and soybeans are America's top three agricultural products. About 25% of the value of U.S. agricultural products is exported each year. Typically, as seen in 2018, U.S. agricultural products worth more than $139.6 billion were exported globally. The United States exports more food and fiber to world markets than it imports, resulting in a positive agricultural trade balance. The geography and geology of the United States offer significant advantages for the economy, particularly in the realm of agriculture. Unlike Australia and Canada, the United States benefits from a temperate climate and fertile soil. These advantages have propelled U.S. agriculture to rapid growth, making it the largest wheat granary in the world. In the United States, there are over 2 million farms, with family farms making up 97% of this number. These family farms have a competitive edge as they typically have a deep understanding of local soil conditions and weather patterns, enabling them to employ suitable farming methods. Most small farms generate around $350,000 annually, while large farms can have an income of $1 million or more. These large farms often attribute their success to focusing on a single crop, a practice known as monoculture, which is highly cost-effective. They also concentrate on livestock breeds that are well-suited to the local conditions of each region. As per farmers in Texas, focusing on a single type of livestock or crop contributes to economic stability. While they do utilize arable land to raise other crops and livestock, these constitute additional income sources to help cover farm expenses and are not in large numbers. One farmer in the northern United States shared that after accounting for input costs, farmers and ranchers receive only $0.08 cents on every dollar, with the rest being spent on costs such as wages, raw materials for production, processing, marketing, transportation, and distribution. The U.S. agricultural industry is currently undergoing a significant transformation, driven by factors such as extreme weather and market volatility. The U.S. Department of Agriculture estimates that more than 91% of crop losses in the U.S. are due to extreme weather. The loss of arable land has led to a decrease in the number of people working in agriculture over recent decades. Meanwhile, the tariff war raises questions about the viability of key crops, like soybeans, which is America's number one agricultural export. Smart technology is revolutionizing not only the nature of work in agriculture but also how Americans interact with their food daily. Thanks to innovation and technology, farmers today are accomplishing more. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video. Click on the subscribe button. Or hit the notification bell. Or leave me a comment down below.